Fine Bozo the Clown. Then Bozo the Clown, whoever he is, is a glamorous AF clown, okay? <laughs> your first time here. Hi, my name is Mithla. I am really cool and you should subscribe. Um, today we are going to be doing another Jawbreaker palette tutorial. I think it's like when I got blue blood and I did like two weeks of videos with it. I'm not going to do that with this but I am doing a rather quick other video with this palette because I don't know, just thought I should. A lot of people would have spent a lot of money on this like I did so Makes sense to maybe do more than one video with it. And that's all I have to say about that. I don't really have much more to say about it than that apart from I hope you enjoy the video. Um, I only do my eyes on camera because it's probably quite lengthy um, and girthy. Best of both worlds. But um, I will list what is on my face if you're interested down below in the the, the thing and with that I'm gonna go so yeah don't know why I'm being so awkward there we are enjoy just going in with my revolution super size conceal and define for tis a great eyeshadow primer trust me blend and snap I know my eyebrows look like garbage, just just let them be, okay? Just let them be. And also I haven't washed my hair in four days. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that sexy blank canvas. It's not that sexy when I turn the brightness down. That's up. I don't know which is better to have it in this or slightly brighter. Maybe actually this. It's a bit more realistic, I think. So the first shade I'm going in with is the shade Delicious and I'm picking this up on this unnamed Morphe pencil brush. I am actually going to start it on my lower lash line just on the very outside edge and then start to draw it out. In my first review I did mention that I thought this shade was a little patchy and it was struggling to attach to my actual eyeball and I do still feel that way, I feel like this is quite a patchy shade so I pulled it out about that far and then I'm gonna make a triangle this is the deepest shade in the palette. I have to make sure to really drop my eye and not hold up my eyebrows. Because that will thwart us in making a dramatic look. So just make sure you're not holding up your eyebrow if you do have hooded eyes. And then I'm just going to fill in that outer corner. I just feel like there is patchiness. And like it's, it grabs in some areas and not on others quite as nicely. So glad this is an eye tutorial because I have the largest spot. I woke up with it beside my mouth and it's my wedding anniversary today <laughs> and I turned over to Hamish and I said, good morning darling, happy anniversary and she just went, oh, look at that thing in your mouth and it is bad, it is bad, oh gosh, it's bad, it's a bad one. Then I'm taking one of my favourite brushes, the Morphe M506, great brush, you should all own one. This one's a little bit old so it's looking a little frazzly. And to blend the edges of this, what's it called? Delicious. Mm -hmm. 
Then we're going to pick up on the same Morphe M506, the shade Soaked. It's so much easier me putting it on screen than like trying to show you because I'm so zoomed in right now. I'm like maximum zoom. And I'm going to start going around the edges. And I'm not going to take this in more than like, that's probably just over a third of the way in. I'm just slowly, slowly, slowly does it. Just building up that outer corner, dragging it out a pinch more. I'm going to just do like side to side motions, just to kind of pull it up and out. And again, holding the brush at the very end and not holding it up high then you put too much pressure on. Then I'm going in with arguably my favorite shade in the palette called Brain Freeze. And this is what we're gonna use to blend out the second shade, don't know the name yet. And I'm not trying to pack this color on, this is just supposed to be like a nice, blending color. See there's a bit more pigmented but I actually didn't want that so oops. Right back here with the mid shade soaked and this is where we're gonna really start blending these two shades together. And I'm going to go back in with more of that deep shade as well. But soaked is what is going to help get that nice blend. I'm going to go back in with more of the shade Delicious at this point. And just make sure it's really packed on this outer V. If you're interested as well for how long these kind of looks take me, I've already been filming for 16 minutes and 45 seconds. So, uh, yeah, that's how long it's taken so far and it will take a lot longer. Back in with whatever it's called, Soaked, is it? The mid blue. I'll obviously have this edited down somewhat, but I do feel like eye tutorials should be somewhat detailed and I don't understand how people can do them in 8 minutes or like 11 minutes. I'm like, whoa, you must have missed out so many steps or barely showed anything because how? How? I know my videos are ridiculously long, but still, how? I'm just like wiping my brush on my makeup towel by the way, just in between these shades and then one last pinch of brain freeze and just very unhygienically blowing on my brush but it's my brush it only gets used on my eye so I don't care I'll give myself my own germs and I'm just gonna wiggle that around the top and the bottom a little and just pull it out even a little bit more we can come back to that, um, so don't worry. Just using this brush, I've got a bit of concealer on just to pat out the creases. Then I'm taking a really small flat brush and I'm dipping it in the shade Raspberry. This brush actually does have a name, but it has rubbed off. It's a Jess Up brush from Amazon. It's a really good, for a really cheap, but good set of brushes. Jess Up, J-E-S-S-E-U-P on Amazon are very good. This actually isn't that important, but because I'm going to cover it up, as you can see. But I do like to have my foundations in place. So 
so that's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm not really worried about the meeting point of these two shades. I'm not going like, to spend ages trying to blend that because it's pointless. And then I'm taking a different Morphe M506 and I'm dipping into the shade Cherry Wet and I'm just going to buff that at the top here. The blend here, like above the crease, is important. And then I'm dipping into the shade Fudge. Taking that up. I like to keep it PG for anyone watching with little ears. As we call it in my family. It's like when we're having an adult discussion and the kids are in the room, it's like, Little ears are listening, little ears are listening. It's like, oh yeah. Oops. And then I'm dipping in the shade Bubblegum, same brush. We're gonna swizzle my nizzle up here. Dragging it into that blue, see? Kind of makes like a nice lavender shade, even though there is a lavender in the palette, but. So good. Here we go, inner corner time. Finally. So I'm picking up the shade Suck, and it's really nice in this hot summer weather, children, to suck on a nice ice lolly. I'm sure this shade means that and nothing else. And I'm just placing that. At the very front. And then taking this unnamed MSQ professional brush. I used to buy these off eBay. Now they're on Amazon. When I used to like only buy really cheap brushes. And they're actually pretty good. Uh, sorry, I'm dipping into the shade Wow, which is the yellow. And that's going to go right at the front here. yellow is not my favourite yellow out of any yellow that I've yellowed before. And then I'm going back in with a bit more of the shade Fudge. And that's over here. Just kind of in between the two. Okay. Great. That's the groundwork. Let's move on to our halo eye, which I don't know why I did this and why I'm going to do it on camera because it's going to take me about 40 years, but there we go, moving on. To do my cutty of the creasy, why did, why, Melissa? I'm using P. Louise River Zero, which is the white base, the white one. Alright, I'm taking the ABH number three brush. Look how tinsy tiny it is compared to my big fat finger. There you go. Why am I doing this on camera? I'm gonna cry. Right. I'm just gonna place it in a circular way where I think is above my crease. If I open my eye up fully, looking at you it's pretty much gone so I just now put my elbow on the desk which I can't do because I've got no room and I'm just gonna put it higher I have no magic solution for cutting your crease apart from take your sweet sweet time my elbow as to not startle 
anything or anyone. Then I'm just gonna grab a fat concealer brush and just pat it on the rest of my eyelid. Why am I falling off the screen? Just sit centrally, Melissa. That's why that kind of raspberry shade doesn't matter, but yeah, I just did it anyway, so I knew where to blend above it. And just taking a clean pencil brush, I'm just kind of going to drag the shadow on either side into the cut crease, just kind of blend it a pinch. You know, just make it a bit softer. You will obviously go in with shadows, but I always think it's better to soften it up first. There you go. Not too bad, doesn't match the other side. Shut up. You may note my cut crease is more rounded shape. I have been off camera and tried to make it match the other one. Um, I'm now going in with a Revolution glitter glue just because it's the first one I picked out my drawer. And this concealer brush, I'm just gonna pat this all over my P. Louise base. I have learned not to set the base with powder and then put glitter glue on and then put something else on because then it goes all crusty, it falls off and it's really gross. So yeah, also this is kind of pointless. Should have just used the shade Jawbreaker on my cut crease rather than what I'm about to do. And then glitter, but there we are. Just learning as a go. Not a professional makeup artist. Get a lot of flack. I think people think I'm a professional makeup artist. I'm not. I just do this for fun. And cause I love makeup. Okay, now that is covered. I am going in with the Sample Beauty Pigment in the shade Stop rolling it around, Melissa. A year. Shan't, shan't show you the inside because it will fall out and just create a really big mess. And I'm gonna pat this oh so beautiful pigment onto the cut of the crease. I think if I turn down my brightness, you can see this a bit better. Oh, look at its reflection. Look at its beauty. It's like Urban Decay Distortion Glitter, but as a fine pigment, that's the way I can describe it to you. And it does kind of fly about as you're applying it. So you will get it on the rest of your neat. Look at its beauty, look at its glory. This is one of the pigments that you must get from Sample Beauty. Trust me. Look at that, look at that, look at it, look at it. And it gorgeous. Okay, now I'm just taking a little pencil brush and dipping back into the shade Fudge. And I'm just gonna start to blend the inside edge. In fact, I think I need a little bit of um, suck, which is the bright orange first. I don't know. I did the other eye like three hours ago at this point, so I've kind of forgotten what I did. We're just making it up. Then in with the shade Wow. I need to tap that on. Then on a different pencil brush, I'm picking up the shade Soaked. And we're gonna pat that on the outside. Patting is good, because you don't wanna like displace all the lovely shimmeriness, although we're gonna add more and it kind of defeats the purpose. Same brush, shade Brain Freeze. The pale blue. And then more of the shade Delicious. And 
and then more of the shade soaked because that's completely disappeared now. What happens now? Um, I actually think I did my liner now. So I'm going down, this is the Blank Canvas Borderlines liner for no other reason than it's the first one I picked out my drawer. And I'm just gonna do like a thinner to thick line. So quite thin on the inner corner. And then getting nice and pleasantly plump on the outside corner. Can't do wing liner on camera, who can? Can't do liner on camera, even just a, a straight line. So then, because the only way I can describe myself is glitter greedy, I decided to go in with Urban Decay Distortion. It matches this um, sample beauty pigment really well. It's more glitter, the more the merrier, in my humble opinion. And I just covered the entire thing in it. Not gonna lie, just just went in with it. I feel like if you're a bit darker, you can see it a bit better. And I like to kind of drag it into the eyeshadow a pinch because then it kind of blends it even more. And then I'm also just going to take that underneath my brow. Just as like a fun brow bone highlight, you know? Okay, we're getting there. On my waterline, I'm going in with this Urban Decay pencil in Deep End. It's actually really pretty. I just put a bit more concealer under my eyes, by the way, just at the front so that the eyeshadow stick really well. Ow. Bought this eyeliner and then never ever used it again. And now I'm like, yeah, it goes so good with this. This look I feel. I could have used any color though. Then I'm going in with the shade Sour from the Jeffree Star Palette, which is by the way probably one of the ugliest shades I've ever seen in my life. I don't know, I just don't think this shade of green is that nice. But I jazz it up, don't worry. I put it on and I was like, no, that was a mistake. But it all works out. I'm also making a huge effort not to make my lower lash line too thick. So I think I should be applauded for that. And then on top of that, I'm simply going to put over the shade Wow, which is the yellow. And that's going to turn it into more of a chartreuse kind of colour. And I'm here for it, because I like this colour. Didn't like the shade Sour. And then, before my battery dies, I'm surprised it's lasted this long. Back in with a bit more delicious. Pressing it on. And then a pinch of soaked. There we go. I'm gonna go do the rest of my face and then I'll come back. Take a look at things. That is the eyes right now. I think I've got, yeah, I've got mascara on that eye. Not on that eye. Let me get a full frame. There we are. Let me go jazz up the rest of my face. We're done. Well, we are done. I am not lying when I say I sat down at my desk at 9.30 a.m. and it is now almost 7 p.m. Threw in a fake ponytail, threw on a lot of face makeup and these earrings don't go, I wouldn't say. Um, lips are Queen Bee by Too Faced. Yes, Too Faced. Oh, and my inner corner is just the white shade from the palette and then more of just 
distortion. Should have done it on camera because it's part of the eye look, but didn't. Oh, and eyelashes are tatty TL2. There you go, now I think you know everything. Except the fact that I'm totally naked. I'm not. I've got my dressing gown just wrapped around me to give the illusion of glamour. So this, of course, is the finished look. What do you think? Tell me down below in the comments, unless you're going to call me Bozo the Clown again. Yes, I I got that, and uh, um, that that was that was a nice comment to read. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was helpful to any of you that have this palette, or to be honest, if you have any rainbow palette and a bit of glitter, then you can do this look. To be honest, because stop saying to be honest, Melissa. Anyway, I am going downhill at this point and I feel I should go to bed. Love Island's on soon. Can't wait. Boys have to make their decisions. Mm, I'm excited. So if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up because it really, really helps me out and leave me a comment down below because I do reply to all of my comments and also subscribe because it's a polite thing to do and the internet is not always a very polite place. So let's bring it back. Let's make it cool. Let's make it trendy. Eh? What is happening? A huge thank you to all of you that are subscribed and watch my videos and a special thank you to my Patreons because your financial support to me is is sick and also I um, do not and will never take it for granted. Thank you so much. When we hit 50, like I said, we'll do another giveaway and also Patreon only um, videos, just one per month, but just something to be like, hey, thanks. You know, and but everyone, a big, a big, a big thank you to everyone. And my words, mm, I've never been good with like feelings and like things like that. So yeah, like being a hugger, I think that kind of goes along with that package for me personally. Anyway, I'm gonna go and bid you all a good Friday evening, and thank you for watching. And bye. <laughs> hey, Lisa's shoulder didn't come up this. All right, thanks for watching. Bye. I know you want to see me naked, naked, naked. I thought there was a spider on my hand, but it is, it's an eyelash. It's like my, a bit of my eyelash that I cut off. Hello. It is me you're looking for. Probably not, but I'm the only one here. Oh no, I've got to take my antibiotics. Hold on. <coughs> I wish those birds would go away. I've literally filmed this intro about 12 times. Please help me. <laughs> so I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Help. <laughs>